Yo, what up? We are back on the Elden Shadow Rings of the Earth Tree. Let's continue. Yo, what up, pussy? I know you're awake. Don't give me that shit. I'm gonna drop a smith smithing stone forward, forward, all the way over here on the DLC. Bro, he might one shot me with that thing. Ah, uh, all right, no one shot. Alright, so maybe I should be going this way instead. I got into the DLC, I went north, but maybe I should be going south. But, yeah, I mean, overall, in terms of difficulty, this does seem a little better. Alright, yo, chill. Fuck, I just beat Dragon Man. You ain't nothing compared to Dragon Man. Eat this! Oh yeah, give me that black steel great hammer. What is this? Another Skadu tree fragment? Boy, those things are probably very good and useful. <laughs> if only I knew what they did. Again, I'm gonna read it while I'm editing, but if you wanna comment what it does just for the engagement, I am completely down with that. Also, we have a big waterfall over here. And surely... Surely, you would think there would be something on the... Uh, man, come on. No secret passageway under the waterfall? Missed opportunity right there. Although I have seen plenty of waterfalls in this map, so I'm, I'm sure one of them will have a hidden passage. But yeah, I mean, I, I feel like the southernmost part of the map just feels a lot better in terms of difficulty and yeah I just died the thing with dragon man is that that dude had two moves where he would literally one shot me and I mean these guys they do damage but they aren't exactly one shot yo mesmer so all right new weapon that's nice and the right is that a thrown weapon or something come on I want to see the new weapon types and also, speaking of new weapon types, on the patch before the DLC, they actually buffed the axes. I think they made them faster when dual wielding or something. Either way, this one, I don't think it's a throwing axe. This is just... It says standard. It, yep, it's just a basic bitch axe. Oh, wait a minute. What are these moves? Is this the normal... I, bro, I haven't used that. Is this the normal X moveset? Or am I just... Not really. Alright. Unfortunately, I think that's about everything I can do over here. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely worth coming here first. Because it is... like It does feel like a lower level area. And then you move up from here. Also, wait a minute. I remember there was a dragon in this lake, wasn't there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a dragon. Gr oh! Yo, what the fuck? Valhazak on this bitch? He... Boom! That's still not a lot of damage, man. You gotta be honest. That's... Not the best damage of my life. Actually, my R1s do more damage than the Slice. Which is funny, but... Hey, it is what it is. Alright, if I hit both the slash and the the projectile, it's not terrible. And I that that doesn't reach up there. What about down here? Yeah, I mean if you hit both it's kind of alright. But I, I mean obviously like I I'm not using the perfect stats for this. Which kinda sucks. I really wanted to, but anyway, maybe that great katana can be infused with X. It's a common weapon, it should be. Anyway, let's try and take this guy out. Oh. And... Oh! What the? Oh, he stomps and then there's a... Yeah, alright, I see, I see. Unfortunately, you are still a dragon, which means that you're gonna get absolutely cucked by my horse. I'm saying it's just the way it is. Torrent is better than dragons. Yo. Let's go. Fuck. Tung. Hey -oh. And tung. It's actually crazy how like... It's the first time they did mounted combat in a Souls game. And it, ju it just feels so good. It kind of gives me some Shadow the Colossus vibes. 
you know, where like the horse, it, it does feel like I, sometimes slightly unwieldy with like the movement, but in a good way, you know, like in a, he's a, he's an animal type of way, you know, and what, what is that, stomp, alright, let's just hit the wing over here, if I can, that I, everything just failed, I am just too fast for you, boy, fuck, come on, hey oh, and dun, dun. Come here. Come on, this guy's almost done. Oh, let's go. That's the ghost flame dragon down. I could wait a little bit until I got yo somber. Just like all right, all right, all right. Look, the damage was slightly pitiful, but it's fine. We got it. And we also got the great katana. It's got blood loss as well. 55. Wait a minute, what is that Ash of War? Overhead stance? Bro, look at this Ghost of Tsushima ass shit. Heyo, Ichimonji. Right, got it. And I can also do three Ichimonjis. I mean, I was expecting something a little different. I definitely feel like they could have varied these animations a bit more, not gonna lie, but I mean, all right, fair enough, fair enough. Cool longsword monster hunter weapon, I dig it. All right, so we passed the main gate and we found these two weirdos over here. This one apparently was previously in service to Lord Mo, but not anymore. And he's got a pretty sick looking helmet. And this dude gave me a black syrup that he wants me to deliver to Thoilier, which I think it's the poison guy i guess he just assumed i knew who theolier was give black syrup what's this you tell me i have to say sir moore has an awfully sharp eye doesn't he it's wonderful this epony as lustrous as the night sky unending i don't think i could ever thank him enough but i'll have to think of something suck his dick <clears throat> i mean ask about the black syrup you two deserve your share of the reward i'll mix up something special if you find yourself weary of the weight of this life then just give me the word sleep is a balm an eternal sleep is an elixir the fuck does that even mean i i am i i i don't <laughs> I, I don't know if i want to you know fuck is it is that so then take this for you for all yeah, yeah, yeah. Theolier's concoction causes immediate death if imbibed by an ordinary human. All right, so that just kills you. But why? Also, by the way, I just realized if you dual wield heavy katanas, it is technically the same move set as the normal katanas. Like it's kind of the same animation. Except she just struggles a lot more with it because of the weight of the weapons. But like she wants to do the same thing. It's it's cool. Anyway, enough playing around. Let's just see what's behind door number one. Hello, what? Oh my, yo, that is so fucking cool. It's a giant ass scorpion. Yo, fucking scorpioness Najka on this bitch. Yo, that... That actually looks very cool. Somebody needs to just make a scorpion a snatchka boss fight in Elden Ring, man. God, it's right there. Hey yo! And hey yo! Bro, they are so low to the ground. Come on. Dun, dun, dun. I was expecting to one shot these things, but it's fine. They're not a massive issue. Is this an omen, dude? Revere. Alright, so these are the statues that we see outside. But outside, they usually have their heads cut off. For some reason. I guess people don't like omens around here. I mean, I guess that's what that NPC was talking about. When he said he couldn't forgive or kind and whatnot. Because he was an omen. And I mean, I don't really know what we did to the... Wait a minute. Is this a monumental from Demon Souls? What the oh my god. Anyway. Oh, there's another. Yo, let's. Hey, yo, boom. 
fuck this man up. All right, so we got a door and a grace. I mean, that's promising. Are we gonna get our ass beat on the other side of this? Well, not right now, but maybe later. Yo, it's a waterfall. Oh my god, what the fuck? You freak! I wasn't even looking at my health. Hey, po. Trang, trang, trang. Right, these guys ain't too bad. Let me try out the heavy katana. Although, to be fair, this heavy katana is pretty slow. It hits hard, but it doesn't hit that much harder than the Nagakiba, and the Nagakiba is a lot faster. Although I guess this one is better for poise. That, that is to be considered. I have a higher chance of cancelling enemy attacks with this thing. You what? Oh, it's over there. I see. Whoa. And tuck, and tongue, and tongue. Can they hit me? Alright, so there is a tunnel I can take down there. Or I can just run through. Bro, this interior place. This thing looks so nice. And there's a grace that's even nicer. Oh, those are some nice weapons, bro. Bung. Yeah, I. I <laughs> yeah, the calm down. Cal yeah. Hepo not huge damage. Also, this guy is an omen as well, right? He's got some horns coming off of him. Bo oh, that was just in time. Just in time. Give me those blades. They look sick. That I I mean, alright. Look, the armor is cool too. I ain't gonna complain about no fashion, you know, but. If I could get some sick ass weapons to go with it, I am more than down for that. These guys could drop their cleavers, but I am getting a lot of smithing stones. There's some fly dudes over here. Hey ya! And fuck! Oh, that was an ambush? Ya pussy! Alright, get out of here. Give me this string. I Cool. We can take this ladder. What is that? Storeroom key. Very interesting. This is like a mini score. Wait, wait, wait. There's another one over. This guy's got a great. Well, I'm dead. Yep. I mean, that was cool, but I wasn't expecting that. Yo. Yo. No, 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 that, no, that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's a. Oh, I thought he was a boss. It's an invader. All right. I mean, I think. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Bro, this dude is healthy. Yo, nice. He's got some magma sorceries and stuff. A very nice weapon that he's probably gonna give us. Wait a minute. That Did that just track my ass? That was a heat-seeking... Yes, it's a heat-seeking orb. I'm not sure what you're trying to do with that thing, but you're just not going to. Now let's switch back to the... <laughs> Yo, Crusade Insignia. Fire Knight Quillag has died. Raises attack power after defeating an enemy. Interesting. Wait a minute. Is this the... Oh, that's where the... Alright, so that's a shortcut. Well, cool, cool. Back to the scorpion room. There's two different scorpions over here. I know he has a grab attack now. Now we can fuck him up. Oh. They also staggered pretty easily. Oh, that, that looks kind of weird. But hey, I mean, it gets the job done. Do they drop anything? Nope. Now, come on. I know you want to. He buck, bung, tongue, and tongue. They aren't very hard, but it's fine. I like them. Bone bow. Yo, that's a very small bow. Imbue arrows with vengeful spirits before firing off a barrage. All right. It does spend mana, though, but it's pretty cool. 
And they become homing as well? Hey, what if I don't have mana? I think they stop homing. But, but it's nice, it's a nice bow. Says the guy with zero bow experience, never used one in my life. Now, we can go up through the rooftops or we can get our asses down here first where people are suffering we got flies over here yo is that guy holding a fucking pot i don't know what you're gonna do with that but yo he gave me a revered spirit ash i mean surely they should be able to drop their weapons oh yo the moveset on these guys we got a shoulder tackle as well oh down down my dear this these dudes be doing some damage man like oh ha oh. fuck ha oh. that hit me please oh my god oh wait a minute this is the scorpion room also is that guy hanging by something it kind of looks like it but i this is a scorpion spy what the fuck is he hanging on well anyway i guess that's just a magical scorpion we got another one of these two this guy they do go pretty crazy not gonna lie uh -huh. uh, i can't see shit they run these guys are dangerous like the strings on this man he pulled he caught me me there with a grab what uh, bro fuck you man that bleed was pretty clutch for those those dudes man so far those guys the chakram dudes worst enemy in the game man we have a gold summon sign over here red main freya she did say she used to fight alongside radan so that's a boss do i want to so you know later l let's just see who's in here oh horned and beast from higher sphere delivered Take root inside the tower sculpture keepers. And perched within, we beg of thee, rise. All right, so look, look, I, I definitely feel a type of way about this boss, all right? Because, I mean, yeah, he's hard. Sure, it's a FromSoft game. Everything is hard when you don't know what you're doing. It's a new DLC. It's new bosses. Everybody's just learning and whatever. But, all right, but the goddamn camera on this boss fight. Yo, like, this gotta be probably the worst camera i i have ever seen in any souls like this boss has a very flowy type move set and he flies around and stuff and sometimes he like gets up on his hind body or whatever the, i don't know what the hell this is man anyway point is the camera in this boss fight is gonna dick you down harder than melania in base game this shit is not good just look at that like i i have to stay close i'm a melee build plus you can dodge that move you can like dodge attack dodge attack like you can put some damage in him 
but like this camera is terrible. Also, sometimes it's gonna get up and then do a slam attack and in that moment the camera is gonna like invert and like it completely fucks up your rolling. If they could just push the camera a bit back or like, I don't know man, like, yo, you like, they, they gotta do something about this, like, this is crazy. Look at this clip right here, like, I cannot see anything. And this guy just keeps flying, the lock-on is aiming up, so like, it just, it, you hit the ground, you hit the wall, like the camera just bounces all over the place. And then in this clip right here, the boss actually goes in front of my character. So I mean, why the hell am I even locking on at this point? You know, it's kind of funny because I remember people complaining about the camera, especially against giant bosses since forever. And they were like, oh yeah, well, you haven't seen anything yet. So yeah, I mean, this guy kind of pissed me off more than anything, really. And like, I, I don't think he's a bad boss. Like his moveset after you learn it, it's kind of cool. He has some nice rhythm stuff to it. But like his moveset also really fucks with your camera. And if you get pinned against a wall or something, like, bro, you're just like, you're just done. But eventually I did get a nice camera RNG and I managed to beat the boss. You know, I think Souls like one thing they should start adding is that Tekken style camera or that tactical isometric, whatever you want to call it. You know, when like the walls disappeared, when the camera is behind it, you know, that, 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 that is the next step. No, that's the next step for Souls likes. Either way, I'm just gonna let the clip play out if you guys wanna see the fight. Again, I do think he's a cool boss, but uh, I, I did not have a nice experience with it, to be honest. I'm pretty sure sooner or later there's gonna be an update or a patch or whatever regarding the DLC, and I just, I, I hope they do something, something to this man's camera, cause goddamn. But anyway. Let's just roll the clip.
Yo. How's that divine beast head? Right. Dude, I, I gotta say, man. Starting your DLC off with just the worst boss in the entire game? Bold move. <laughs> Bold move. Yo, look at this thing, though. God damn. This, this whole DLC, like, this looks very nice. Tower of Shadow message. Yeah, Alright, let me check out what they have to say. The gate of divinity lies in the tower sealed by shadow. That is surely where kind Mikola is headed. We are no Imperians, but we must locate the path that will lead us there. I will follow the crosses east. Alright, so we can't get our ass in there and we gotta go all the way around so we can get the darkness out of here and then go in here. So like, we're, we're gonna have to burn the earth tree again or some shit, I, I don't know man. But anyway, this level has a path that leads down to the sewers, which I showed you in this video, but I completely forgot about it. But I did eventually go back to it to see what was in there, and as you can see I'm wearing a different armor set, never mind that. But in this level, you can find two different keys. The storeroom key and the sewer key, I'm not exactly sure what the name of that thing was. But this is the storeroom key where you're gonna find a crazy old woman and this is the head of the boss. Well, well, I mean, I guess it's a different head, but, you know, it's one of those lions thingies. He doesn't really say much right now, probably because I killed the boss already. But, like, I, the voice that you hear in the cutscene, I think it's supposed to be this NPC. Unfortunately, I'm only finding out about him now. But if you equip the divine beast head that you get after defeating the boss, which looks very, uh, odd, I guess, I think he has some special dialogue. Never mind. I have read and other people have told me that talking with Hornsent Grandam in the Bellurat storeroom while Warren produces special dialogue and talking again will award the Watchful Spirit Incantation. So there you go. But there must be some tipping point in the story where that just isn't possible anymore. Because I mean, I came here late. Actually, I am so late right now that Mesmer already died. So yeah, if you wanna hear about that dialogue and stuff, uh, just come here as soon as possible. But again, besides the storeroom, you can also find the sewer key, which allows you to access the sewers. This place has a ton of flies, and I mean a ton bring some goddamn bug spray but you can also find some pretty cool stuff around here there is this dude which will drop his swords guaranteed and then also right next to him you will find another weapon which is the poisoned hand it's a fist weapon that deals poison damage it is a somber weapon it has a special ash of war but anyway that's everything on the right side but if you go to the left side you will find yeah one of those He's not a boss or anything, just a very healthy enemy, still annoying as ever. I don't think he has any special moves or anything, he's just green, which I guess it's different. And when you kill him, he's gonna give you this talisman, which increases your immunity. And that is basically all of Bellurat for now.